What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Lake Trout episode. I am with the legendary Sam Hayes today. The guy's so much of a legend, he caught one before he even got a bait in the water this morning. Uh, he's got us on the spot. No, we, uh, we took about a 25 mile ride this morning on the sled, get up to a lake that I've never fished before through the ice for trout. So I'm really excited about that. Sam was kind of picked me up and we're gonna see how many trout we can put on the ice today. We're gonna be jigging. And once we find a good spot here, we're gonna set some, some dead sticks, but stay mobile and see how many trout we can put on the ice. Here we go. He came in and tapped it like out of nowhere. Still around, he's chasing it down now. Oh, fucking he hit it. Keeps bumping it. Still on it. Got him. On the drop. And it's not a small one. That one made me work for it. <laughs> hit it on the freaking drop. As long as he hit it. Yeah, well he hit it twice before that. This is exciting. There he goes. He's kind of not a fan of you, is he? No. I don't know why. <laughs> Put a hook in his face. Here's a leader. See some color. Oh. Thank you. Try this again. Oh, that's why. Oh. Got him in the freaking tail. It's a nice one. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be hard to grab yeah. without getting a hook in your hand. No wonder he was pulling so hard. Wow. Beauty! Not how I like to catch them, but... What is this business? What's that? Oh, a little red under the chin? Yeah, that's a... Uh, I don't know what that is. A little wound? Why don't you eat nice it in your trip. mouth? fish. Beauty? Beauty. Oh, right on, bud. Yeah, not the way I wanted to catch him, but. All right, some more. Nice. Well, that was kind of interesting. I don't uh, know how or why I got him in the tail, but I did miss him two times before that, so obviously not intentionally trying to snag him, but I guess that's just how it works. I think a lot of times these trout will come through these schools of bait and just slash with their tail as hard as they can or hit them with their head and kind of, you know, get the bait really dizzy or kind of knock knock a bait fish out and then spin around and come through and grab them. And that one was actually on the fall. I was trying to get him to chase it down and I felt that something hit the line. So I just set and he could have just slapped the, the line of this tail or the tube of the tail, who knows, but not intentional. But first trout of the day for me, call it a half a trout. I don't really consider that a catch, but pretty fish. I warm the hands up and try to get one in the mouth. Got one? Nice. Nice slide, buddy. Nice. I like that. This was kind of a more normal trail. Flying up, not monkeying. All wrapped up. Burp shark. Oh, lots of air. Bubbles. Not happy. No, just not want to come see us. They come, I mean, I don't know. They come up easier when they're hooked in the tail. <laughs> right? Got a lasso. <laughs> and... 
Beauty! Pop that on. Excellent. Back to the depths? Yeah. What you got going on here? What's uh, what's That's, wrong with your sled? This is a wonderful setup. Oh, I like it. Apparently there's uh there's no batteries left in Canada. <laughs> so you know you gotta adapt and overcome. Oh, I get it. So uh I'm just trying to travel light today. Oh look at that. It's hooked right up to the sled. It's custom. It's custom. Here's one. Got him. So cool. Love doing that. Just working the entire column. I was just, I was dropping all the way to the bottom, reeling all the way up to 10. Oh yeah. Just yo-yoing it back and forth. And here you can see he showed up right there. And came screaming up. This one I think I got in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. He's a little wrapped up, but, but he's in the mouth. It's not a bad trout either. I got a wedge right there. Of course, the pulp in there. Right? There's the rest. <clears throat> of course, my head cam dies. Come on, Louie. One more on roll here, buddy. There he comes. Look at that. T boned it. Perfect. Right in the mouth. Did I just pile drive that right through his freaking. Oh, yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. Look at that hook job. That one I got in the mouth and I freaking smoked them. We just changed spots. We've been here for five minutes. We're gonna keep this one. Sam wants one to take home. He got a hook pretty bad in the gills because he absolutely smoked that thing. Trailer hook got him pretty good and that's a perfect size to keep. So he's gonna go home. Nice. Here's another one. Got him. That one came out of nowhere. Just missed that last one. Man, I watched that. That one went down. <laughs> I never uh, even marked him until he hit it. Oh, there's one. Whack. Oh, I just lowered. <laughs> Look at the mark. Like there was nothing, and then just whack. Oh, here he is. Spot number three, and uh, bite number three. You don't get that trailer in your hand. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. This one's got a beat up tail on them too. It's got a little right there. You haven't caught that one before, have you? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't messing around. Spot number three. Trout number two and a half for me. Cool fish. Nice colors in them. All right, that one I got on a Little chartreuse and white tube, switched up colors. It's kind of gloomy out, I don't know, I wasn't digging just the plain white. A little bit of chartreuse head, chartreuse tails. It's really nice color. I don't know, muskies like chartreuse and white. Lake trout like chartreuse and white. Just a great bait fish imitation. It's still white where it looks like a Cisco, but it's got the chartreuse, so it stands out from any other bait fish that's around it. So they can really key in on that versus however many Cisco's or white fish or toolies are down there that I'm trying to compete with. but. That one had no problem smoking it. Here's one. Got him. Nice. Got him. Screaming up off the bottom. Played cat and mouse very nicely. Got the leader already. Kind of disagrees with that. Does, does not like you. Okay, I think you burned a hole in the side of the ice. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, there we go. That was a nice run. Yeah, that's the best part about Lake Trout. Why does that thing die every time I hook <laughs> a fish? It doesn't like you. I had camera ties the second time today. All right, screw this stupid old oh, leader. Come on, sleepy. Oh, yeah, nice oh, trout, man. Good one. Okay, right, we'll just take this one. Watch that tube. Oh, nice. It's in a really shitty spot. Yeah. 
get guided if you need to. It's a nice trout. Yeah, it's a really nice trout. Can't get her to turn your nose, honey. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo. That's, that's a real one. That's fat. That's, that's a, a real blizz, trout, man. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Buffalo. Look how dark it is. Oh, keep your head down, honey. So that's the third bite we've had here in about a half hour. And uh, like I was telling Sam that, you know, oh, Sam's got one going. It's worth watching those majors and minors. Um, we made a move. We knew we had about 40 minutes until the peak of it. We got here and these fish have just went off. I've noticed the last few days I've been fishing, they've been liking it a little bit after peak for whatever reason, um, but that's sticking true today as well. So it's always something to watch, pay attention to. But man, what a rush. That was an awesome fish. So cool. Yep. Here's one. Oh, fuck, I got him. <laughs> I'm looking at pictures. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like the, the, the freaking tube wasn't even moving. I'm looking at freaking pictures. And I mark the fish, I lift it six inches and it smacks it. Wanna come back here and fish tomorrow? Oh uh, yeah, let's come back here tomorrow. Oh, that's just a five pounder. That's just a five. You don't even need me anymore. Oh, look how purple and yeah, like I mean, like dark bellies, pretty. You see them like shimmer in there. All right, we've only got four minutes on the GoPro since I caught that big one. Here's the next one. Like I said, guys, watch the majors. He's bleeding a little bit. We're gonna get him back quick. He had that stinger just on the very edge of his gills. He should be good though. See ya. Here's one. Oh, I missed him too. Come on. Oh, he's still there. Come on. How did I miss that one? Oh, he's chasing it. Come on. Mine's chasing it down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right on it. Oh, he's stopping at like 12 feet. That last one, he's chasing it down, and I stopped it. As soon as the bait stopped falling, he just like... Got him. <laughs> he hit it on the fall. All of a sudden, my line just wasn't going down anymore. He's right there. What a freaking window. Man, we've had all this action in like 45 minutes. Like, I don't want to say it's been non-stop, but it's been pretty crazy. It's a nice, yeah, not bad one. Just been uh, manhandling these fish. I'm no expert when you're dropping a half ounce uh, tube jig down and all of a sudden your line quits moving. You might want to set the hook. <laughs> that was cool. I say I've kind of been just manhandling these fish and a lot of it is because of the rod. I'll tell you guys about it here in a second. Show them to you here quick. Nice fish. Majors and minors are a thing even for trout. Let's go. See you buddy. All right, so rod setup. Ow. That's past the barb. Oh no, it's right at the barb. Oh, got it. I'm so excited, I'm freaking throwing hooks in myself. Anyways, rod, 48 inch pro graphite, lake trout rod from Thorn Brothers. Absolutely love this rod. Just ordered some more, um, just ton of power. I do like the graphite and some guys like glass for lakers. If you're gonna be fighting fish that are generally, I'd say over 20 pounds, you're probably gonna go, wanna go with the glass. It's a little bit stronger, um, but it is heavier and it doesn't 
you can't detect the bites quite as well as a really high quality graphite blank like this. So for me, for that, you know, I'm catching a lot of fish that are between five and 10 pounds. So the graphite rod is really, really nice. I like anything from, this is a 48 incher. The ones I just ordered are 48s or 44s, I should say. I wanted them just a touch shorter. And then they're a little bit more uh, rod case friendly as well, but I'm hooking these things and I'm getting them to the hole instantly. And a lot of it's because this rod just has a ton of power. Real 4,000 Daiwa Tatula, 12 pound braid and a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, leader's about, I would say, I don't know, 10, 12 feet. Nice long leader, unity, uni knot. And making them chase, that's fun. Nothing better than lake trout through the ice. I like how we give our best holes to the worst fucking rods. <laughs> Here's one. Got him. He came out of nowhere. Why are we fishing here? There's no well, fish here. <laughs> new spot. We're just complaining. We've had dead, or dead sticks out with Cisco's all day. And we have not got a single bite on them. And uh, we've been breaking a lot of stuff today. I'm out of GoPro batteries. I broke my auger. And uh, It's a rough go. <laughs> it's a rough go. <laughs> yeah, we just switched spots again. It's like if we switch spots, we catch one in the first 10 minutes. Spot number four, we've caught fish on every spot we fished. I got a good guide today. I got the day well, off. you know. Is he decent or? Yeah, it actually kind of looked chunky. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a nice troll. I like that last one, but, no, but we'll take him. Second best one of the day, maybe. So do you like an eight inch hole or a 10 inch hole? I like the 10. This seems like I can start them easy. Great. I like that better than. But there the, is a debate about that, isn't there? Yeah, like it is like the eight. Is that because once he's in there, he's kind of screwed, right? Right. And so you, but it's, I like, starting him there's more panic when he's doing this like about to get hooked on the ice there you go like oh, it's growling he's had enough oh, oh. <laughs> didn't go 20. didn't go 20. <laughs> not with this rod nice throw yeah silver one we're running out of time but uh heck of a day of trout fishing super fun i want to come back to this lake okay i think we're gonna fish tomorrow Probably. That, that'll be a new video for you guys, but uh, awesome fish. I don't know how many I've caught, five or six today jigging. And the dead sticks are doing nothing because they're garbage. They're dead sticks. They are dead. They are literally dead sticks. Good one. Get him. Oh my god, he literally hit it right there. He hit it right frickin' there. I was just debating if I open up my spool, but he frickin' smoked it. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. Coming up. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. Come on, where'd you go? Oh, he's still there. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, I just lost him. Oh. Ah. oh, that was amazing. The trout that almost came out of the hole. That was absolutely amazing. I almost had him up on the ice on my hook set. Catch two lake trout over 50 walleyes. Yeah. Here's one. Got him? Got him. On fire today, man. On fire! Not happy. Doing wow. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Rodeo. Uh, I think he's gonna put the joker. It's not a bad one. No. Trout things. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, buddy. He's rolling the right way now. 
Come on out of there. Thank you. Beauty! Pretty colors. Smacked it. Chased it up hard. Yeah, these ones got the lighter bellies and they've got like that blue and purple in them. They're just pretty fish. Well guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. That was a pretty exciting one. Um, wow, what a day. I don't know how many Lakers I caught. I don't know, seven, six, eight, I don't know. But big thanks to Sam for bringing me out today. He caught a couple fish. And yeah, that was just a good time. We moved around, we stayed mobile, we caught a bunch of fish. And I think that's the biggest thing to take away from today is if you're not seeing them, you're not marking them, you're not catching them, move to the next spot and also be on your prime stuff for your majors and minors. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel below and we'll see you on the next one.